What's up YouTube? Today it's going to be a very, very quick tutorial and it's a really simple one to do. It's to do with After Effects and how you can get the motion blur in After Effects to look a lot better, a lot more realistic. Now if you look at this little dot here and I make it move over here, if you notice when it's moving, it's just not, you can see like multiple iterations of it in the movement. It's not a, a smooth blur. It's like it's jagged bits, right? However, if you change one tiny thing, you can have it look like this. You see? That is a lot better, isn't it? Now, let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you the very tiny steps of how to do this. So we're in After Effects. This is a clip I've just shown you uh, with this little ball, which is just an object and a mask around it that I'm moving position uh, on an X and Y axis. So it's nothing fancy, but what I have done is activated the motion blur here, and then I've activated here so that I can actually see the result of it in the comp, right? Now, what you can notice straight away, if I click on this panel here and hit the little tilt button, what you can notice straight away is that my hand is moving with a nice blur because I shot this at one over 50th of a second because it's a frame rate of uh, 25 frames per second. So to make sure that you have the, the phase angle and the shutter angle right at the you know, 180 degree shutter angle and all that, I, I set it to those settings. Now, the ball, however, is not actually moving. It's being simulated to move. And After Effects doesn't know that actually, while well, looking at that, it doesn't look very realistic. It's not enough samples in there you can see, you can count the different rings of that object. So what you can do to make this actually look better is hit Command or Control K, and that will open your composition settings. Now, you should be very familiar with this window because this is the window that decides all of the details of your composition. However, a lot of people either don't even notice or just steer away from this advanced tab because they don't necessarily see the use for it. Uh, unless you're using a different renderer, like the, the ray trace renderer, or if you're already aware of how the motion blur works, uh, which you should be, then not many people would have a reason to come in here. But what's really important on this one is that the default is set to 16. An adaptive sample limit is set to 128. Now that's, that's very nice, except that it says here 2D, mo 2D layer motion automatically uses more samples per frame when needed, up to the value specified by adaptive sample limit. Now, in my experience, that's just not true. Uh, it will sometimes do that, but in the majority of the times, it will just stick to whatever the samples per frame number that's specified there is. And that's why we're seeing this, because actually, you could count 16 circles there because it's showing 16 samples per frame. Now, we are shooting at 25 frames a second at one over 50th of a second, which means that if we're gonna go with this shutter angle and shutter phase of 180 over minus 90, what we actually need is 50. Now, obviously this is going to, <laughs> this is going to put more strain on your computer. And I mean, that just looks, it looks like it's part of the footage. But as I say, it's gonna put more strain on the computer to calculate all of those samples in every single frame. So, God, that's a pretty face, isn't it? So that is basically how you can make your, your motion blur better, depending on how much time you wanna put in uh, into rendering, into exporting this. Uh, you, can, you can put this, I mean, really as, as high as it'll go so that it looks good and that you're happy with the footage. It's so simple, but it's not obvious unless you know where to look. So hopefully with this, you'll be able to get better looking VFX on your footage that looks like it integrates a lot better. So there you go. That is how you make your motion blur better in After Effects. If you like this video, subscribe and like the button and like the button. Yes, like the button. I'm standing by it. Cheers.